This is Dr. Armin Resign from CIRECDoctors.com. We're going to feature a, uh, a crown restoration done with CIRECH version 4.0. As you can see, the workflow is very different. In the administration tab, you uh, select the tooth you're going to be working on. You can also select the type of design and the type of restoration you want to utilize for the case. So once you enter those tabs in the administration module, you click on acquisition, and we're going to capture the buckle bite as a patient's being anesthetized. So we'll have the patient bite down into maximum cuspation, slide the camera in and capture the canine and premolar areas from the facial. You must make sure that the patient's biting down uh, in maximum cuspation as mentioned earlier and make sure that the patient doesn't inadvertently open their mouths. So as soon as we capture the uh, buckle bite, uh, we'll save that into the uh, buckle bite folder. As you notice, the image libraries are called uh, lower jaw and upper jaw and buckle bite. In fact, there's another field you could add if you wanted to bring in some more information. Uh, so we'll capture the uh, opposing arch. As we get closer to the canine and the premolar area that we captured in the buckle bite, I'm going to go ahead and grab some roll shots to the facial to capture information below the height of contour. This will aid uh, tremendously with getting the images to stitch through the buckle bite. And we'll go ahead and capture the uh, optical impressions for the preparation. I usually start with a second molar. Remember the biogeneric software derives its anatomy from the dissa tooth. So it's really imperative that we capture as much information from the adjacent teeth, particularly the distal one, so we can get the best proposal possible. And we want to make sure we capture the information uh, below the height of contour from the adjacent teeth that we're going to be developing contacts to. Again, as we uh, move forward and get to the canine and premolar area, I'm going to roll the camera a little bit to the facial to capture more information um, to aid with the stitching purposes. Once we capture those, so we click on the model tab and we get to the buckle bite stitching step, which is uh, uh, almost self-explanatory. You uh, relate the buckle bite to the one arch and then transfer the whole complex to the other, and you can verify that these have uh, stitched together properly. Now we'll go ahead and uh, marginate. Um, once the margination is done and you've set your insertion axis, the uh, proposal is rendered. You have some incredible tools. Uh, that you can use to modify the restorations with. Here I'm using the move tool. We have uh, quite a new uh, way and features uh, in the software to design the restoration.